first of all, Christian, looking bomb. I mean, you've had a little glow up on reality TV. How are you feeling? <laughs> oh, it's a lot, <laughs> but I'm really happy because I get Demi, so. <laughs> Are you adjusting to fame? Is it weird? How is this going for you? I haven't really thought of it like that. I'm just kind of riding the wave. I, <laughs> I'm just thankful I have her because I'm like, this is a lot. Did you give her tips? What'd you tell her? I just said, you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be fine. You just said, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Um, so uh, let me ask you a little bit uh, backing up about you coming to paradise and then you staying in paradise uh, some people had talked about that the rules of the show you and I have talked about that uh, how did you feel about staying in paradise any trepidation and what do you say to people who said uh, she shouldn't have been allowed to stay she's not of the show mm -hmm. well I never really watched the show so I don't even know what the rules would be I don't think there are rules for paradise but uh, I just was focused on my relationship with Demi and whatever we wanted to decide as a couple so uh, and I wanted to explore our relationship and our love for each other. Was that a little crazy for you guys? Because you'd kind of been not even living in the same state and all of a sudden you're like together on the beach 24-7. What was that like for your relationship? It was crazy. <laughs> um, I mean, there's definitely ups and downs that, you know, you see on the show. But ultimately, you go to paradise to explore relationships and you focus on them. You don't have distractions. So... Mm -hmm. That's what we did. Um, Demi, talk a little bit about your kind of issues with commitment that you were honest about and how you two worked through that. You were very patient. <laughs> um, I've just always not been a fan of committing. I like to do whatever I want to do and I like to have fun and, you know, just not really commit to anything as simple as a lunch plan with someone. But whenever you meet someone who makes you want to change that, I, and that's what Christian did for me. It was really telling, and it made me excited to commit, whereas before, I was terrified of it. Christian, what was it like for you to get the call to come on the show? How were you prepped in any way? Did you have any idea what was waiting for you? No, I had no idea when she left. I had a feeling it was basically over, so I wasn't really sure, but my feelings were so strong when she was gone. So when I got the call, I was just excited to like talk to her. I just wanted to tell her how I, all the realizations of my feelings and how I felt. I wanted to see her and just tell her, you know, how I was feeling at that time. How did you two leave it? Would you call it a breakup? How was it when you went to go on the show and, you know, you didn't have a cell phone to even send a text or anything? No, it, was, it wasn't a breakup. There was no conversation yeah. that needed to be had. It was just like, okay, I'm going. Bye. Mm -hmm. It sounds like you'd kept things pretty light before that. Mm -hmm. Very much so. Christian, for you, uh, Derek's gotten a lot of praise. Were you surprised when you heard kind of what this guy's reaction was? Or what was it like for you to watch those conversations back between the two of them? I just commend him. I think he's a great guy. And we actually became friends after I got to know him. Obviously, in the beginning, I was just hesitant to get to know him because I of the situation. But he is just, everything he's done, it just speaks so highly of his character. And I do wish the best for him. And we're all friends, so it's... It's a unique situation, but it's beautiful. Yes. It's very 2019. Yes. <laughs> We're woke. You get to live together now. What is that like? You get to be out in public together now. It's just exciting to be normal people again. Um, I just can't wait to do the simple things together and just not have to hide somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it's been it's been interesting hiding. It's been hard, definitely hard. But any like wigs used or what have been the tactics for hiding? No, I didn't even want to take the risk. Okay. Like, just not leaving the house. Mm -mm. Okay. But mm -hmm. also, I don't mind not leaving the house. I like doing that. <laughs> same, <too>. same. <laughs> okay, this is successful potential here. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> did you guys just laugh turn into the same one? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is bad. This is I don't want to do that to her. Don't do that. Really? <laughs> um, so, you guys are now both sporting rings. Hold those up today. Uh, you went ahead and proposed to Demi as well. How emotional was that moment? It was just so beautiful. I was so shocked. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, I wanted to surprise her. I wanted her to have that moment as well because it was such a big moment for me to experience. Will you guys be the next couple to get married together in paradise? If it's free. <laughs> Sure. You were at Crystal and Chris's wedding? I mean, oh my God, it was so beautiful. It was, beautiful. It was such, a, such a beautiful moment. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Well, you're open to it. Like you said, Paradise is made for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The queen is here. <laughs> She's here. So why not get married in Paradise? We'll see. Maybe. Have you guys talked about it? Do you have a timeline for a wedding oh at all? Oh my gosh, no, we just got engaged. No. Uh, just this enjoying. is a lot. You act like Bachelor World moves slow. I mean, <laughs> It's like Bachelor World moves fast, but then the engagement, that's whenever people like actually like take the time to be slow about it. Yeah, they're like, wait a minute. They're like, okay, let's like be normal for a bit and date and have fun and then 
the wedding will come. Yeah. Why do you guys work so well together? It's just like, it's insane how we're so different, but it just works so well. Um, you know, I'm so blunt and bold and all kinds of things. Um, and she's so gentle and understanding and so sweet and soft. And um, it's just like a perfect balance. You two, the first queer relationship in franchise history. Big milestone moment. How would you like to see the show tackle things in the future? Uh, a lead one day? Have, have you talked about that amongst yourselves? You know, I've said before, like, I don't want to be the one to carry the torch of how Bachelor Nation or Bachelor franchise should, like, react to all of this kind of stuff. I think that it just will happen naturally, hopefully. Everything will just be normalized. You know, it won't be like, oh, the queer couple. It'll be like, oh, the couple, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Good answer, Demi.